Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Slip Punches show. Let's welcome our special guest on the show, Super Featherweight. Yo. Tevin Farmer in the house. How you doing, man? Tevin, man. Haven't talked to you in a minute. I know. I just, I've been laying low. I've been, I've been low-key, man. Just handling the business. Wow. How you been, champ? How's your family? How's everybody doing with this COVID-19 craziness, man? Every, everybody good, man. Um, I can't complain, man. Thanks for asking. How, how about yours? Everybody's good. Thank you, champ. Thank you so much, man. The city of brotherly love, Philadelphia in the house. Yeah. Let Tevin, see. man, let me let me just start off by giving you props. You will, You definitely, hands down, one of my favorite fighters, man, coming out of Philadelphia. We talking... The city of Joe smoking Joe Frazier and many other legends. You held yeah. it down, man. You definitely held it, it down. I appreciate it. It's, it's a lot more to come. There's a lot more to come. Absolutely. Tevin, reflect on your career, man. From the start from 2011 to now, you've accomplished so much in your career. Reflect on that and talk about it. Um, it's been a lot, you know, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Um what I can say is my downs um, has made me become a better fighter, a better athlete, a better human. Um, it, it, it made me become a wonder. You know, I learned a lot from my losses. Um, I, I had the hard route. I didn't have the easy route like a lot of fighters, you know. Having the small image of background and having to do it the hard way, you know. So I'm thankful. Though. I'm grateful. I wouldn't change it if I could. I'll tell you, Philadelphia right now, it's a tsunami of boxers yeah. coming out of that city. And and knowing that you you came from such a tough town, you know, the town where the, you know, it, again, Russell Peltz did his fighting. So, so many great legends coming out of there, man. You know, the best is yet to come for you. And we're definitely going to talk about that. I, yeah, Working, I can't. I can't wait. I'm excited. To, I'm excited for my comeback. You know, I was performing at like 50 percent um, for the past five fights, but I was still able to overcome a lot of it because I work hard and, of course, my athletic ability. So, but like a lot of things got fixed, and I'm happy about that. So, I can't wait to see myself back in the ring. I'm excited about it. To be honest. Now, I'll tell you, you know, you held the IBF title. Um, you know, you had a setback in that fight against Joseph Jojo Diaz. It's boxing. You know, these things happen in the sport. Where, you know, there was a rematch clause, I believe, in that contract. And there's some issues in revolve to that fight. What's yeah. going on with that fight? No, it... it it is one. It's one. It's one. It's one. Um, I haven't heard nothing about it, but what I do know is JoJo and his team had reached out to the IBF, wrote them a letter to try to see if they can um skip over me and find me in the um as the as the as the automatic rematch. You know, they're trying to skip over me, but like. There's no way you can do that. I don't care who you write a letter to. Like, and um, IBF, they are honorable people. Um, but you know, a contract is a contract. Um, I I, I guess he has had a deep hole with them, or if he decides not to fight me and move on, he be inside a deep hole with me. You know, contracts is contracts, and you know, <laughs> you know you can do when you, when you sign it on that line. Now, what you hearing from Eddie and from Debella? I mean, this is definitely a fight. Yes, this is definitely the fight you want, correct? Yeah, the fight. Yeah, I mean, that's the fight that I want next. And right now, um, they. And basically, JoJo is denying the fight, and he he, he they trying to get, get away from him, but it's not going to ha happen. It can't happen. So right now, you presently training 
for that fight, correct? Okay. I don't know. We'll see. You know, I'm not doing too much. Just staying active because I don't want to over to other gyms. Right. Um, when that fight happens, I will be ready though for sure. Tevin, what do you what are your thoughts and what do you think about right now boxing in 2020? Watching everything and fights happening with PBC, with Top Rank, and 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 also with Matchroom in the bubble, yeah. like behind closed doors. What are your thoughts on all that? I mean, I feel like as long as boxing still continue, I feel like it's a good thing. Um, I don't. I, I actually like it. I rather have it like that than not have it at all. You know. So I feel like it's a it's a good thing. I mean, it depends if the fighters are comfortable in fighting in the bubble. I mean, I will be. Now, Tevin, champ, training with Chino, you know, great dude, man. He's yeah. he's really been there for a lot of fighters. Give a shout out to Chino and your thoughts of of training with him. Man, I mean, it, 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 uh, yeah, big shout out to to to, to him. Um, that's my guy. But like, it's it, it's it's more it's more to who I became um, other than him is it, 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 it's multiple other trainers um, that, that trained me as well. But what I can say is he has been a big major part of me um, becoming successful, you know, but it's definitely other people involved that played um, the back scene of me becoming who I am. But yeah, definitely shout out to him for sure. Talk That's about the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, man. How much you support the city and, and do things in the community as a champion. Give us your thoughts on that. I mean, Philadelphia right now is is, 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 is like, it's a bad place right now, honestly. You know, a lot of stuff, a lot of killing going on. But um, I just hope my city can do better, you know. But as far as the athletes, we have some amazing athletes. Um, especially fighters. We have a lot of fighters. I'm not going to get the name in because it's too many. Right. And, um, I'm just proud of them. And I just hope that people keep. Um, push their heart so they can get to the top. Tevin, I know you're a big boxing fan. Give us your thoughts on the Charlo fights this past weekend. You have any thoughts on those fights? Um. Man, I, them the, them Charlo brothers, they um they're some dogs, man. Um, they come to fight and and, and they gonna come to put it on on the line. So whoever fighting them dudes gotta come ready and God come prepared. Um, they definitely showed up. They had, both had tough opponents in front of them and they showed up. They did what they supposed to do. They showed up and they won. Now you see, so congratulations you, to them. Definitely, definitely, man. It's great for boxing all the way across yeah, the board, man. When you guys. Sure. When you guys get in the ring, man, it's it's awesome for everybody. We yeah. three weeks away from Lomacheco and Teofimo Lopez. Do you have a pick in that fight? I was I was asked I was asked that um earlier. Um when you say do I have a pick or do you mean Who do like, you like? Yeah, who do you I, like in I that mean, fight? For I made a best man win, but I do feel like Lomachenko is, is is a little not little, but I feel like Lomachenko is ahead of um, T.O. Fimo for sure. I feel like he he he's bringing a lot to the table, and I feel like they're a big step up for T.O. Fimo Lopez. And um, like I said earlier, if, if T.O. Fimo beats Lomachenko, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very proud of him. But my honest opinion, I don't feel like he's gonna beat Lomachenko, and that's just how I feel, you know. But if he do beat him, I'll be proud of him for sure, for sure. Tevin, I, I know you're busy and everything. Give definitely give a give a shout out to all your fans, man, because you got so much support, so much love yeah. of people following you. Yeah, I, I definitely um want to give a big shout out to my supporters, my fans, and just everybody that just been supporting me throughout my whole career. Everybody that just started supporting me, you know. Um, it means a lot to me. And my supporters and fans know I will be back a thousand percent. Um the JoJo fight. It was still a, a, a two-point difference on one scorecard and a one-point difference on another scorecard on my worst night. So, And I kind of feel like that's the reason why they know it's not a good idea to, to fight me back to back because when you become a champion, you want to make some money. JoJo haven't made any money for real. Um, you want to make some money when you become a champion. You want to defend them belts. Um, he haven't did that yet, and he don't want to give up them belts right away. 
I made a lot of money being a champion. So I'm set either way. There's no rest. But just know if the fight don't happen, I have thousands and thousands and millions, whatever you want to call it, for lawyer fees. So, I mean, I'm I'm ready for it, and I will win the case regardless. So, is he they fight me or is he 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 gets stripped from the IBF or gets sued from me? So I don't know which way he won't go, or maybe he can work tonight with the IBF. Um, yeah, works works tonight with the IBF, but. Have you personally good. talked to the IBF? Have you talked to Daryl at all? I haven't talked to Daryl at all. I haven't, yeah. I haven't talked to Daryl. Champ, real quick, man, for the fans that are following, man, how how can they follow you on social media? Man, they can follow me on Instagram. Everybody knows Tevin Farmer 22, T E V I N F A R M E R 22. Um,. Twitter, Tevin Former 22. Um, I'm getting back to my YouTube videos too. So, they oh can wow, that's a good YouTube look. And uh, Tevin and Polka Life as Tevin and Polka on YouTube. So, I'm, I'm gonna start getting back to them. Um, soon I've just been really busy, so a lot of people have been reaching out to me, but I haven't really been, you know, because I've been busy with life, you know, trying to get things right. Buying houses and getting them together really ain't have time, but now I'm back <laughs> and I'm doing interviews. And I think you just this the second you the second person that I did interview with. Yeah, second person. So that's so we appreciate you. Yeah, we sure. appreciate I you. I got link you with my boy Dan Hewitt. He's out in London. All okay. right, they want to talk to you out in London, yo. Okay, okay. I'll definitely hook you up. Oh yeah, Do no that. doubt. Seven Farmer, we appreciate you. You Taking too, your man. time, man, coming on the show. We hope to have you back after your fight. Yeah, it was a pleasure, man. Hopefully, I'll be back after my fight, maybe before, you know. So, I I'll be checking in to keep to let the fans know, giving them updates on um everything that's going on with my career and what it, what it's look like and for my next fight. Whether I'm gonna be fighting JoJo Diaz again, or whether I'm gonna be suing the shit out of a few people. Um, I let I let I let everybody know. I'll give you an update. That's what's sure. up. Yo, Tevin, give us give a shout out to your fans, man. Man, shout out to everybody. Shout out to you too, man, for um giving me the opportunity. I know you've reached out to me for for a while to get an interview, but I've been busy. So shout out to you, man, for being consistent. And we're gonna do a lot, we're gonna do a lot more interviews too. For That's sure. That's what's up, man. Appreciate you, champ. Always, I'll talk to you man. soon, all right? All right, thank you so much, man. Keep on punching. All right, thank you. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. That was Tevin Farmer, man. It, it was nice having him come on the show and, and talk about his situation uh, with the IBF uh, uh, rematch with uh, Joseph Jojo Diaz. Hopefully uh, all of that will work itself out. Uh, stay tuned for any updates or further information as we get them. Uh, and follow Tevin Farmer. You know, listen to, to him and Jojo's posts and see what's going on with that situation. And, Hopefully we'll have that fight because the fans want that fight. So Damon Gonzalez from Latin Box Sports, we thank you all for tuning in tonight. We had two great shows with Oscar Valdez and Tevin Farmer. We appreciate you. Keep on punching. Uh, Damon Gonzalez, I'm out. We'll talk to you very soon. Take care.